Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are doing Jeff the Killer from Creepy Pasta, aged up to 22, just like in the Octavia one. He is aged up to 22. Aged up. This is adult Jeff the Killer. Thank you. Now let's do this. Remember, Jeff the Killer is from Creepy Pasta, and he's aged up to this. Anyways, let's do this. Disclaimer number one, Jeff the Killer is aged up to 22. He is not a minor. He is an adult in this. Thank you. Jeff the Killer is not Yandere and Cannon. This is fiction. This is also just supposed to be for fun. It's just to be for fun and just not to be taken serious at all. Simping for fictional characters and fictional Yandere is fine. Just do not be illegal or gross about it. Yandere's are not ideal partners to have in real life. Also remember to separate fiction from reality and headcanon for canon. Thank you. And once again, please enjoy this video. Anyways, let's do this. Jeff the Killer has been killing since he was 13 years old. He is now 22. He unalived his family and his brother. Uh, well, tried to unalive his brother, but it didn't work out really at all. He did unalive his parents, though. His brother lived. He is now a creepypasta. He stopped physically aging a decade ago. So he's been physically 22, but has been alive, alive longer than that. He is also a serial unaliver. When he is not unalive in teenagers and young adults, he is normally just lurking around and traveling around the USA. By chance, he meets you in his off time. Of course, he is really not attractive, so you were shocked when you saw him. But he thought you were very attractive, but he just shrugs it off at first, thinking you're just a babe and that's it. Though he cannot stop thinking about you and cannot get you out of his mind. You are driving him crazy. How dare you consume his attention? Who the heck did you think you were? Sorry, one sec. My phone rings, so I had to put it on silence. Eventually... It becomes too much for him and he can make it and he begins to stalk you. That is right. He is the type of Yandere that will stalk you. Shocker. He would do what he wants to learn your routine and learn if he has any rivals. Who would not last very long at all? His your rivals, his rivals, no 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 no, they would not last long. If he does have rivals, he will follow them as well, and then he will put them to sleep for good. He will go one step further, cutting out their eyes and their heart and leaving them at your home. He is psychologically manipulating you and is a psychological manipulating Yandere. That is for sure. Going to tor torment you mentally in a sick and gruesome way of courtship. He would go after anyone and everyone that looks at you even sideways. Anyone you depend on, friends, family, pets, they will be put to sleep. You will feel this is your fault and that you put them at risk for some odd reason. Really, Jeff wants you all to himself. So he will strip you of everyone that matters to you and everyone that cares about you. This is when you will he will break into your home, get on top of you and press a knife to your throat. Don't get sexy thoughts. This is not sexy time. Confessing his feelings to you, telling you he killed all the people and animals he did for you. He is very unhinged, Yandere, if that is for sure. If you accept his love, it, it may be because you want him. Why, though? I mean, come on, Muffin, really? Why do you want him? Or because you fear him. I mean, he does have a knife to your throat and has confessed to you, killing everyone and everything for you. That one does make more sense that you would confess for that reason. Anyways, if you accept his love, he would kiss you and make love to you right then and there. Knife still close by, just in case. Now, if you turn him down, he is knocking you out and kidnapping you. He is going to teach you to love him. Then you will be his good little darling. He is drunk on you. You 
to him, complete him. He is very obsessive, Yandere, that will be have the hyperfixation on you and solely on you, needing to have you no matter what. He also, if he has to, will make you pretty like him, cutting a nice permanent smile on your face so you always smile at him. That way, when he all, anyone looks at you, they will know that you are his and his alone forever and always belong to Jeff the Killer. Anyways, let's do a scenario. <laughs> scenario time. You were crying your eyes out. Your boyfriend was just found unalive. And you were devastated, drinking a, some wine and drowning your sours. That's when you go up to bed and close your eyes, falling asleep, a half a glass of wine on your bedside table. You did not hear the door being kicked in. You did not hear the man creeping up your stairs. You were too much in pain and sorrow as you slept, a little bit drunk. You did not hear him unlock your bedroom door. How he had a key, I have no idea. You did not hear him creak the door open, come into the bedroom, and get on top of you. Only thing you woke up to was his wide smile and eyes. You scream and try to get up, but suddenly feel the knife nick your throat. You stop, feeling the blood drip down. You could not move. You could not breathe. He had a knife pressed to your throat. You were going to die. Hello, beautiful, he says, looking down at you, a wide smile even wider as he grins with his own bloody, gashed-in face. I've been waiting to see you, to be able to talk to you again. I know you probably don't recognize me as you ran away so fast, but you are mine, he says, and you stare in horror, remembering the, it was Halloween when you saw the man and you thought it was just a mask, but it still unnerved you enough to scream and run away. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You better listen good, darling, he says. I am in love with you. I have loved you for so, so long. And I have gotten rid of all the obstacles in your ways. Your parents, your siblings, your boyfriends, he said a bit nasty at the end. He did not like the idea of your boyfriend. Luckily, he was taken care of. You... You bastard, you say, not knowing what else to say. You killed my boyfriend. You killed my parents. You were in shock, tears rushing down your eyes as you look up at him. Yes, I did. And I would do it all over again and again and again to have you. Now, what do you say, darling? Will you be mine? You stare up at him in horror. You had a choice to make. He could easily kill you. Or he could end up up end up making something much worse happen you bite your lip and look up at him and then nod your head yes yeah yes i'll be yours you say a bit scared and he smirks leaning down kissing you blood and pus smearing from his mouth onto your lips you gag at it, but he shoves his tongue in, kissing you deeper and deeper. His hands go into your body. He was going to make love to you and make you his at last, and you will be his forever and always. There was no backing out now. You belong to Jeff the Killer. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. And if you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see, and I will do my best to do it. Remember, this was aged up Jeff the Killer, 22, but technically 30 years of it, 32 years of existence on Earth, but physically 22. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. If there is anything you want to see for the spooky month, which starts, I will expedite and do... Uh, more spooky videos starting around in September, going all the way through November, hopefully, if I have enough, but definitely, definitely October. So if there's any of the spooky stuff you want to see, comment below what you want to see. That's like slasher, horror movie characters, and just creepy stuff like werewolves, witches, etc. All that good stuff. If you would like to see that, comment below what you would like to see from vampire shows, werewolf shows, etc. As long as they follow the rules, that means no minors or people that act like minors or look like minors and all that stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoy and back to the regular outro. If there's any more creepy pastas you would like to see, comment below what you would like to see. I will also have in the suggested videos and playlist below creepy uh, horse 
horror slasher playlist and Yandere Slenderman, which I have made a video of Slenderman, which he will be suggested at the end of the video. Go check that out. Anyways, and also thank you, Gav, for being my first patron. You are fabulous. You are beautiful. You are stunning. Gav, mm, chef's kiss. And thank you, Wicked Brony, for being my second patron. You are stunning as well. Thank you, Wicked Brony, chef kiss. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. And if you would like to see more, you know what to do. Make sure that you are subscribed so you are notified of future videos. Because sometimes YouTube is silly. And even when you are subscribed, they do not notify you, which is poo. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. And stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye. Secret after time. Secret, 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 secret after time. Secret outro, secret outro, secret outro. Hello, with my sexy muffins, and welcome to the secret outro. This secret outro is going to be, if Jeff the Killer was 22 and you were in this situation, would you have said yes or would you have lashed out? I probably, I'm a real coward, so I probably would have said yes and cried as he made love to me. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed and stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye!